Hey fellow peers, Sophia Static here, and I'm here with a speed draw video of a sprite that's featured in my latest video, which is a story time about my first possible ghost encounter. Ooh, if that sounds interesting to you, I recommend giving it a watch. Also, this video contains about three to five minutes of extra audio that I cut out that could be its own video, but I had no time to make. But before I play that extra material, I want to give a quick channel update. So recently, I landed a new part-time job. And I'm not entirely sure how that will affect my content creation and uploading schedule. But I have a weird feeling that this job is actually going to regulate my overall life schedule and keep me on track. Because I'm going to be honest, my life schedule has been all over the place since I graduated college. So, a significant adjustment there. I believe this new job will help me prioritize and manage my life better. But worst case scenario, there'll be a longer break in between videos. But we'll just have to see what happens. Now, with that out of the way, here's the extra audio that I promised. It's me basically rambling about ghosts for like five minutes. I hope you enjoy. Here's my general view on ghosts and spirits who haunt places. As long as you don't f with shit or try to kill anyone and are relatively chill, I don't care if you stay in the house. I really don't. However, if I'm unknowingly buried on sacred land or something, like I have absolutely no knowledge of this, like uh, the plot to Poltergeist? Yeah, that was the plot to Poltergeist. Like they had no idea they were buried on sacred land or whatever and their sh was rocks like... Like, uh, their kid went missing and everything, and the furniture was stacked, all weird. But here's the thing, it's not my fault that I lived there unknowingly on top of sacred land. Why am I getting horrifically blamed for something the previous owner did? I know there, there's supposedly, uh, different ways that spirits and ghosts communicate that, that humans can't understand, but... If you keep scaring people, you're not going to get your point across. Like, if you scare people away from the house, then someone else is eventually going to move in, and you're just in a cycle. Like, if possible, I guess, try to calmly tell them that, hey, you're on sacred land, and it's supposedly this person's fault, and we can use our living privileges, like my living privileges, and I can use my living privileges to try to take care of it as much as I can, but, but I don't know. I feel like I'm speaking out of turn here for uh, spook rights, for ghost rights, for demon rights. I don't know. I might be full of myself at this point. I might be ignorant to ghost, spook, and demon rights, or what, whatever. Hopefully I can educate myself in that. I don't know. So yeah, long story short, I think I saw a ghost when I was eight. I wasn't discredited for it because my family and I have seen some sh** together and separately. So, and we're in a general sense, we're kind of iffy about the existence of ghosts, spooks, demons, and other supernatural things. And we're kind of on the same page. Like, if you don't mess with sh** don't try to kill anything, like, you can chill at our house as long as you want. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, be sure to like and subscribe. The sprite was made for my first story time video. Be sure to give that a watch. But I also do a variety of other videos, such as media analysis, reviews, art stuff, and a few experimental things here and there. What are your general views on Ghost? Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, stay safe and stay spooky, my fellow peers. Bye.